Hey everyone, so I am making meal number one from the Epic Box for this week, and I am going to show you what I've got going on for today. So today, as you might be able to tell from this, is ooh, shepherd's pie. If you have not used our shepherd's pie mix and you like shepherd's pie, this is the fastest, easiest shepherd's pie you're ever going to make. It's low sodium. You can totally modify your ingredients. And I'm going to show you how I've done that in just a sec. Now, this is crazy fast. It is 602. And I started making this, I think, at 543. So we are about 15 minutes, just over 15 minutes in. Here's my epic box. I'm not going to show you the rest of what's in here because I'm going to show it, reveal it um, at each meal. So basically all I did was take this mix, put it in with a cup and a quarter of water, and then I browned, uh, in this case I'm using ground turkey, and you can use beef or you can use what's traditional, which is lamb, um, or you can use your plant-based protein. So you can completely modify this. So I browned that and then I added that cup and a half of mix uh, with the seasoning all into here and just let it come to a boil. And then I added in my veg. So you could throw in some frozen mixed veg. I chopped up some fresh carrots and celery, peas, beans, um, corn would all work great in here. This is now ready to go. And what we're going to do on top is um, I chopped up, I don't, we don't do potatoes because hubby has a um, nightshade intolerance. So we use sweet potatoes. And so we're going to be doing our sweet potato topper. This went into, in the steamer, fresh, um, just, I just took the skin off and chopped them. That My son helped me. It took us about three minutes to prep them and cut them up, threw them into the steamer for 10 or into the microwave for 10 minutes and they've come out super nice and steamed like that. As you can see, now I'm just going to use our, uh, I can't even remember what this tool is called, meat separator, our meat separator, um, which is good for way more than separating meat to uh, just do this up into a mash. And that's going to take me a couple of minutes and then I'm literally going to serve it. This, I'm just going to put this onto a plate and then I'm going to top it with some of the mash. You know, you could do, you could add some salt or some seasoning. Um, our SPG would probably give that a nice little dash of flavor um, or some pepper. You could add in a little bit of cream or butter if you like to make things a little more creamy. But if you want to go super healthy, just keep it totally plain like this and then mash it up. Top it over top of your ground protein, and that is dinner done. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's plated, so I'm just going to pause this until that's all ready to show you. Okay, and so here we go. We've got, as you can see, I put it in a, um, uh, actually this is one of our four cup prep bowls, but I put it in a bowl rather than on a plate, just because it's a little bit saucy and I have the littler kids who are a little more messy, <laughs> so I thought it would do better in a bowl. And, um, and I've just topped it with a sweet potato and literally that is start to finish ready done in, uh, about 20 minutes, maybe even a little less. I just had, um, my green onions actually come in already. Uh, it's March, early March here and, uh, at the time of filming and, uh, I can't believe my green onions already come back. So I took a little piece of it, topped it up because it looked pretty. And there we go. That's dinner ready on day one of our epic box meals.